so guys, let's start our class today. And we are going to start a new component of A component 3, that is the last component of the year, the team project, where pretty much you have to work as a group, okay? Uh, in your case, I think it's going to be in pairs. And you guys have to find a local issue with global relevance and picking up this um, topic, you should make research to find how this issue is affecting your global community, how has global importance and can affect other parts of the world, and individually you should propose one course of action to deal with this issue, how can you solve this issue. And pretty much this is the overall team project for the year. What we're going to do, and I just took it, uh, Ipsy's verbs from Cambridge syllabus, so we'll work as a team to research about the topic, and then each one of you must do a presentation individual, and you must film this presentation so you can send to Cambridge, okay? Also, you must write a reflective paper by the end of the research, what have you learned, how your perspective towards the topic and the issue has changed according to what you have done, yes? So starting the lesson today, your goals is you are able to recall more than three topics that the syllabus suggests. Okay, there's like 18 topics, you can recall three. You can understand the differences between topic, theme, issue, perspectives, and you also understand how a topic, a theme, an issue, and perspective is related with other, each one of them, hierarchically. For example, you know the relation between topic and theme right now? Awesome, you'll know it by the end, okay? So, before that, let's take a minute for our SEL moment that we do since the beginning of the year. <laughs> so, just have one minute to think about what are you guys grateful for. For example, yesterday you were grateful for, you just woke up, okay? Take one minute, reflect one minute, breathe in, breathe out. Why are you grateful for in your life? Or today, or this week, or this year, just one minute. <laughs> So, what um, who wants to share voluntarily? Yes, yeah, go for it. I'm grateful for not being short. For not being short. Thank you for that. Um, then you just remind me that I'm short. Okay, <laughs> okay but very nice uh, for not being short, for being tall. And you might grow some much more. You're 16 now, right? 15? Yeah. Oh, you're going to grow even a few more inches. Nice. Another person to share with you. Why are you grateful, Elvin? Why are you grateful for? Not being fat. Okay, oh my god, thank you so much. You just remind me that I am a bit chubby. Thank you so much. You're affecting my self esteem. Yeah. Ty, why, why are you grateful for today? I'm grateful for waking up today. Waking up? Yeah. Okay, nice. We should always be grateful for waking up and again being healthy. Anyone wants to share the gratitude? So, um, I'm grateful for For your parents? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Okay, let's go for a call. Emily? I'm grateful for my teacher. Oh. I'm grateful for Mr. Dad. I'm grateful for all of you guys. Um, it's amazing to work with you. Thank you so much. Let's move on so to our class. So let's see what you guys know about this. Who knows what's a topic and can provide an example about the topic? And it's okay if you don't know because I'm just checking your previous knowledge about this. Kind of, yes, that's kind of a nice definition. One word like the, the title, kind of, yes. But what is the difference between the title, the topic, and the theme? It's kind of the higher hierarchical uh, concept, yes, the topic, but guides, and the theme? It's related to the topic. Think about a car, for example, the brand is Ford or Toyota, and the color is white or beige or black, okay? So the theme is more kind of the color of the topic, okay? And the, what about an issue? Kind of a problem, like a situation that might be not comfortable or might affect people in some ways. What about the perspective in global perspectives? Point of view. 
that usually is supported by research or evidence or not, okay, it can be just our own perception of things. So, nice. can you provide an example for any of those things, like a topic? One example of a topic. Think about your argumentative essay. You had a topic for sure about it. Uh, examples? Migration. Migration. Migration is a topic. What would be the theme? Think of, was it um, the uh, political situation, ethical situation, yeah. economical situation? So that's the theme, okay? Economy, um, ethics, politics, okay? So those are the themes. And what was your issue on migration? Or any other issue to share? Okay, no, I got squeezed on this one. <laughs> what was the problem on migration? Or the, the, the question that was like in your argumentative essay? Um, what is the main cause of migration in Somalia? The main cause of migration in Somalia, okay, so that was the issue, the migration in Somalia, the issue kind of, the cause is related, you're trying to find the issue, right? Why they are migrating wars and the famine, the weather. Okay, very nice, what about the perspective? The perspective, not for you, okay, you're off the hook, right? And, I'm going to provide you guys with an activity. In pairs, you already kind of see that in pairs, maybe sync and dissolve uh, it together, okay, talk in pairs. So, pretty much what you guys have to do just go research the definition of a topic and provide an example, a sentence or whatever, okay, a theme, an issue, and a perspective. And your outcome, the basic outcome for the class is share the definition and the example with the class, okay, but if you feel confident, if you feel powerful, if you feel I can do this, I have a challenge for some of you. Share the definition and the example, but without reading. Okay, just share it with your own words. Yes? Okay, so you can read it if you feel you need this support, but you can just try to say it with your own words. Yes? Three minutes, okay. Okay, let's go. Thumbs up. Okay, so, questions. Who can share the definition of any of these concepts without reading? Alvin can. Alvin can. And I believe you. Yes. <laughs> and you believe in yourself. <laughs> no, no, just one more place. Chill, in a chill way. Very good. <laughs> the topic is... Specific subject. Yeah, say what you think it is with your own words. Don't that worry. Is being discussed. It's a specific subject that is being discussed. Awesome. Can you provide an example? Uh, new marketing system for. Oh, just like you said when you were talking. Why don't you change? Awesome. Awesome. Okay, hey, what about <laughs> Elvin? You're done. Phew, very nice. Very nice. Honestly. Um, you went for the level two, you know, like the. You remember? So about the team. Anyone even read it? That's why you pass with so many activities. An idea or a message that we. An idea or a message. Um, and you don't need to provide an example because I will provide you examples right after this issue. So one of the things is these are the topics from the Cambridge syllabus for your AS level. Okay, all of this. Climate change, very nice, Calvin, like you said. Yes, sir. Um, so, very briefly, just take a look at these topics and think about three that might be interesting for you to research about. Just very briefly, like one, two minutes. Think about three topics that might be interesting for you. And you can ask me if you don't understand any of the topics. This is almost, yeah. Or social inequality, sustainable future, I mean, you are the future and you're going to live in a planet. Urbanization, we're living in Phnom Penh, it's kind of becoming super urbanized. And this of food. When was the last time you guys got food poisoning? Like two weeks previously. Exactly, because there was no ethics of food. Okay, guys, so three topics crime. Ethics of food? Crime. Crime. More, more, more. <laughs> Tourism. Interesting because.
because you have a core what? You know, there's, it's one of the major recipes for the country, the tourism. So it's super interesting. Industrial pollution, well, we have a lot of factors in Cambodia and this is a big topic with a lot of issues. Quality of life. Equality of life. What would be that, equality of life? Quality of life, sorry, quality of life. Life quality, life work balance, family, etc., etc., eating good, making exercise, healthy mind and body. Okay, nice. And we'll move on to this. So guys, let me just share with you, remember the mind maps that is kind of one of the techniques that will help us to organize information in our brain. So we have this map and how it works. We have a global topic. Tell me any topic that you Crime. Crime, okay. And for crime, which team crime could be related with? Politics. Maybe politics. Science? Science? Like um, cyber crimes or something? Or technology. Technology, oh, that's for the cyber crimes, science. Sometimes I don't like when you find the body, you have to test out how Oh, yes, science, exactly. Investigation, very good. I was saying that you're thinking about how the criminals are inventing new ways to steal from people. Um, or economics, okay, because of this. I mean, we have, uh, and let's speak um, cyber crimes, okay, you can narrow down the topic crime, cyber crime, because it's more trendy. I've heard some people that got. Um, Problems with ABA payments. Sports in an international context. Do you remember any major international context sport event that happened in the last? FIFA. FIFA, Qatar, World Cup. World Cup, okay. <laughs> yes. So, think about the Qatar, the FIFA World Cup. How we can relate the themes of economics or politics or culture or ethics uh, relate with the event. Okay? First stuff that I read from the World Cup. That um, okay. migrant. Yes. In the workers stand outside in the hot sun for like Exactly. People died. Their conditions were unhuman. I think the payments were not uh, really 100% fulfilled. So there were ethical relations with human exploitation. And that is a positive perspective. Okay. Do you think it works to organize a major event like in Cambodia, the oh, uh, uh, Southeast uh, Games? Sea games, okay? Did, did it work for Cambodia? Yeah. Or because it was free, remember, nobody was paying, or was it draining the taxpayers' money? It was draining the taxpayers' money. But on the other hand, it promotes more human politics. It kind of promoted Cambodia's image, at least in the Southeast Asia context. Okay, any question? Yeah, because they were then... Because like, you needed connections to get tickets. Exactly, it was one of ethics, okay? Um, even double topics, and I think this is our last activity for today. And pretty much from those three topics that you guys have chosen, or you can choose it again, taking a more deeper look at it. As a pair, choose one of these topics and try to create a mind map like the ones we've seen previously, okay? The topic, the theme, the issue, and perspectives. Yes? Do you want white paper or you want to do it on Prezi? iPad. iPad or paper? You can choose. iPad? Is that iPad? iPad. iPad? Okay, so just can, do you think you can finish this by the end of the class today? Okay, so I'll open the... Um, <coughs> I'll open the slot on Google Classroom for an extra submit. Um, can be already, maybe can still change. You know, like when you go home and think, oh, actually, this is much more interesting than the one I choose. So it's not um, the final one, it can be if you want. I mean, a change. Yeah, this, this is straight uh, snip copy paste from Cambridge Universe. Every year. Yes, uh, one thing I've learned from the syllabus for 2024, it will start this year, is what I'm doing right now. Before, there will be eight topics for the written component, eight topics for the team project, eight topics for the argumentative essay. Now they put all the global topics together and can choose one of them. So, yes, you can choose any topic for your team project, can be the final one right now, and, but they will do this three times.
you know. So if this one does not work, we'll do it again to improve. If it does not work, we'll do it the third time again at the end of the year. But so don't put pressure. See this one as the warming up uh, top choice. Kind of, but then it's the so choose one topic and then uh, yes, put the team or the four teams or three teams or whatever you think makes sense. What would be the issue related or not the issues? And then the perspectives. The, the, the best, the idea would be a negative perspective and a positive perspective.